What's up guys, welcome back to this channel. Today we are gonna be doing an install on a second gen Tundra. So we are gonna be installing this right here. This is the Rego Fabrication Ram Mount. So this is really cool because it actually flows with the dash really, really well and it doesn't look out of place. Uh, I'm gonna flip this around and just show you guys what that looks like. So here's what it looks like, fully installed. And of course, we are gonna show you guys the full installation, how to take all this out so we can get to that. But let's go ahead and get started. All right, so we are in the Tundra now. We're gonna have Mr. Gabe help us out here. So Gabe, what's the first step? Popping that out? Yep. Okay. So we have a uh, pry tool. We're gonna pry at this piece from the top here. You can use a plastic one if you'd like. That way it doesn't damage it. But we have this really nice one that is super smooth on the head. So it won't leave any marks or anything like that. And then this piece will come out just like that. And it's held in by these yellow and white clips here. And then we'll just pull this center piece out from the bottom. Super easy, thanks Toyota. One connector on the back of that. So we have two 10 millimeters bolts down here. You wanna be real careful not to lose them. So there's actually two more. So we have a, a 10 millimeter socket that has a magnet on the back of it. So it helps with that. Just because if you drop it, it's gonna go way down there and it's gonna be extremely hard to find it. Once we have those four out, then we should be able to pop the unit or the head unit out. And then we just got a couple clips back there, one over there, over there. And then we can go ahead and unplug everything. So the nice thing that Toyota did is that they actually color coordinated all of these so that way you can't really mix them up. And then also the pins or the connector is actually different. So if there are two black ones, two gray ones, you can't really mix those up either. Next, we gotta remove this little flap. Set it off to the side. Now we can go ahead and grab our dash mount and the bracket that goes underneath it. So we'll line it up right here. So on the bottom of this bracket, it actually has two slots that will meet up with the actual slots that are on the dash. So it sits in there nice. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna mark it. Once we have all those marked, we can go ahead and take it off. We're gonna be drilling holes through this so we, way we can fix it to the dash. So we got a drill bit on a 90 degree drill. So you saw there, it goes down pretty easy. The only thing we have to worry about is a couple harnesses down here. So just keep an eye out. And then we'll just repeat with all the other holes. Now that we have all the holes drilled, put that bottom plate back in there. So this is all the hardware that is in the bag. We're gonna be using the button head ones. So this is what we're gonna be needing. We're gonna be the, need the button heads, the washers, and then the nylock nuts. We're gonna take those, and then we're gonna install it onto this plate. From the top down. Once 
once we have fed the bolts through we'll grab a washer and then a nylock nut for the bottom and then just thread them in it's a little hard to see but once you guys are doing it you guys know exactly what we're doing once we have those loosely tightened we'll go ahead and grab our tools open in on the bottom and then a four mil allen socket on top and then we'll just cinch everything down all right so since we have the powered version of the dash mount we're going to need to drill a hole right there right in the center and what that's for is so that we can feed the wire for the uh, outlets the two usb outlets that's going to be on the dash mount that way we can feed the wire down here and then get power from the wires down here so we added this wire here and then we have added some butt connectors to the back of the usb port and then now we're just going to nest it in there and see what that looks like and then that wire will show you guys where to get power from down here as well and then now we just attach these countersunk screws onto the actual dash plate that way it's secured in place and there's going to be two of them so just go ahead and tighten those down all right so that is our wire right there it comes from up there and then we fed it to the left side of this piece here and then it's going to come right down here and then we just push that wire all the way to the back so that way we have enough room for the radio to go back in with all the wires so next once we have the wire all the way down here we're going to locate this guy right here this is the usb or cigarette lighter plug and we're going to be installing a couple t-taps on that white and black wire and the red one so the t-taps how those work is they just go right around it you close it grab a set of pliers to squeeze it and then in the middle of that there's actually a metal piece that'll make contact with the wire and then you will this is what it actually looks like and then when you plug the other end in that little slot it will give this little thing power to whatever you connect it to so we'll put the other one on there once you hear that little clip you know it's secured and then these are the other side that we already put on the back of the wire that we pull from up there and then you just plug them in and that's how it will get power we'll do the same to the other one so now that we have this connected we hooked up a wire to the USB hooked it up to our phone and then we're going to see if it works and it does and there's actually a little blue light up here as well to let you know that it is powered so now that we have verified everything works we can go ahead and start putting everything back together so now I'll just go ahead and start plugging everything back in if you guys had yellow clips that were stuck in here take those out and install it on the back of your radio on both sides that way you can put it back in so go ahead and continue to plug everything back in once you have those all connected push it back in and it'll all clip in place now we can go ahead and put the four 10 millimeter bolts back in and again be real careful that way doesn't drop down there once you have it all started you go ahead and tighten it down next we'll be putting the climate control back so plug that one single connector back You want to find the white clips on top and the yellow clips on bottom and everything should clip into place 
I'm going to tuck any wire that we had from the plate on top back there. Feed this back. Line up all the clips. And then clip it back in place. All right, so of course we need to put some accessories on this. So everybody probably would install this one. So this is the ram mount and we're gonna be attaching a, a little X grip arm for a phone, which pretty much everybody has nowadays. So we'll pop that up there. This one has the slightly longer arm on it. So that way it reaches past the dash here and then close enough where you don't really have to extend your arm all the way to grab it. But once we have it tightened down, put your phone in there and there you go. Perfect. So here's what it looks like from the driver's seat. So we got the phone mounted here. So of course you can just put your phone here and it's easy to reach it. And then of course you can move it. So there's one, two, three, four, five over here. And then there's five over there. So you can mount a lot of accessories on there. And then it is nice that you have the USB right up here. So that way you don't pull wire from down there all the way up here. You can just go right there to here. So you can use like a short uh, connector. All right, guys, that is going to be it for the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. We will have the link to this dash mount in the description. And if you guys are new here, make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel and turn on that bell notification. That way you guys get notified every time we post a new video. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.